A reading from the book of Genesis. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. I'm sorry. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do for the, from the heart, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance, the slaves of the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to <laughs> dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday. Now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain <laughs> wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness on all our days. Let your work be sent by your servants and the glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not all his sisters with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. We celebrate St. Joseph the Worker ever since 1955, <clears throat> on the 1st of May, basically as a counterpoint to other international worker celebrations on May Day. Why the 1st of May? Actually, originally, it was a commemoration of the riots in Chicago at the Haymarket Square. What were they all about? Something that St. Joseph had no clue about. An eight-hour work day. We think if we work eight hours that we're breaking our backs. Back in the day, people working 12, 14, 16 hours regularly. St. Joseph, in, in his times, would have known nothing about that kind of regulation of, 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 of um, income, you know? And there's a book that I finished reading called The Feasts and Food of Jesus. And it studies the kinds of meals and, and whatnot that would have been eaten, the kinds of foods that would have been eaten in the time of Christ in Palestine. And it gives a very, very beautiful sense of the kind of town that, that Nazareth would have been as well, the way in which people would have lived in community, how they would have done their work, how they would have shared common 
uh, uh, ovens in the middle of a little square, for example, for the baking of bread, etc., etc. Beautiful kind of a thing that described also the life of Joseph and the ways in which, more than likely, doing whatever he did in Nazareth, he would have to ply his trade and sell his wares about nine miles north in a much larger town called Sephoris. So he would be regularly not only working, but on the road, walking back and forth with Jesus, no doubt with him, bringing things to them, dealing with them there, taking orders, delivering materials. Hard work, long walks, long walks. Elvia will remember, for example, that when she and I and Vivian were at our sister parish at Tomascalapa several years ago, these people put on a fiesta for us, walking three and four miles from their little satellite town to Tomascalapa, carrying food for us to eat. People who are poor and who have this sense of dignity of work, they understand the hardness of life. St. Joseph would have understood that much more than I think that we do, although there are an awful lot of us here that work very, very hard. But this is something that celebrates the beauty of labor. And I always like to look at um, the encyclical of Pope John Paul II called Laborum Exertions on Dignity of Human Work, in which he talks about sexual love and, and work as the two primary ways in which human beings, so to speak, can transcend themselves. So that in sexual love, fruitful sexual love, you've got a child now. And that child isn't you or your wife or husband. It's a whole new thing. You have now self-transcended with that act of love, and you better be ready to continue making that self-donation to the child. You know, there it is. And then when you do something that is an act of work, and it might be a creative act of work, like a piece of music or a work of art or something like that. There it is now. There it is. Your vision is now realized one way or another, and there it is. And now people can, can look at it, and it's not really yours anymore. It's everybody's. We can transcend ourselves by the dignity of work and to make good work. So I always like to think of the, uh, the sign-off of Garrison Keeler when he would do the, the poet's almanac. Be well do good work and keep in touch. Let's do good work today and most especially keep in touch with the Lord. And we stand and pray.